Hi, I'm Jill. I'm a senior HR consultant at Brown Jacobson. Today, sharing some advice about face masks and coverings in schools. So current government guidance is really clear that wearing a face mask or a covering in school is not recommended, although that could change before September. So keep up to date with the advice and be prepared to revisit decisions swiftly if it does change. Some unions have called for school staff to be allowed to wear face coverings and some schools are allowing it, but others are saying that it affects communication in the classroom. Be consistent and be prepared to justify your decisions. For example, if you've previously refused to allow staff to wear a niqab on communication grounds, consider whether you can now justify a different stance on public health grounds for face coverings. Some people will feel anxious about contracting coronavirus and it's really important to listen to individual concerns and to act reasonably, particularly if the employee believes that a face mask will be a reasonable adjustment for a disability. So reassure staff about the steps you've taken to make the workplace safe. Make sure they're aware that face coverings are largely intended to protect others rather than the wearer against the spread of infection. And that really the most important thing is that individuals observe the cleaning and the social distancing and the hygiene practices that have been put into place to protect staff and pupils. You may decide to allow staff to wear face coverings, say in corridors or at break times, but maybe not in the classroom. Or you may decide to allow staff to wear the transparent masks or the visors on request so that pupils can still see the facial expressions. If you require staff to wear masks, then you should pay for them. But if they're worn on the request of the employee, then they should pay, unless it's for a reasonable adjustment for a disability. But if you allow face coverings, then it's going to be part of your health and safety obligations to advise staff on how to wear, clean and dispose of them safely. What will you do if a member of staff refuses to remove a face covering if they're instructed to? It's a potential disciplinary issue if they don't comply. However, I'd certainly recommend that you take advice before taking formal action in these circumstances.